is that a person is a sheikh because of his age. Let's say he is 60 and up. As the daughters of As the daughters of I want to hear it. Some people that shh, I want to hear it. Jump. Huh? Huh? As the daughters of Shu'aib wa kana abuna Shaykhun Kabir. Shaykhun Kabir because then our father was a Shaykhun Kabir. Here they were referring to this in his in his age. In his age. Number three. It is that he is a sheikh because of he is the head of the tribe. He is the head of the tribe. Right? He is the head or the leader of the tribe. This is why you will hear sometimes in, in Afghanistan and the like, I'm just giving this example. When they say that they have a meeting with the sheikhs, right? They say this. When they say the Taliban, they call the sheikhs and stuff like this. Right? Or the authority they call the sheikhs. Here the term of the sheikh is mean those who are the, not ulama, but these are those who are the representatives or the leaders of, the, of their tribes. So you? Yeah. Al-wajib. Now what is, what is the must, what is the obligation, what is incumbent? He say, anna al-jarima, that the crime, يَخْتَصُّ بِصَاحِبِهَا It should be the crime should be attributed to the one that has committed it. The crime should be attributed to the one that has, that has uh, 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 done it. He say, وَيَقْتَصْ مِنْ صَاحِبِهَا And the revenge or the payback should be only in regard to the one that has done it. Should be only to the one that has done it. هَذَا هُوَ adl, And this is really justice. This is really justice. And this is why, in another point, that you find sometimes individual, they will speak in general. For instance, they might say, عَلَى سَبِيلِ misal That all Senegalese are crooked. Now you making, I'm just giving the example. You making, right? You making those who are free from it to pay for the one that is the, cor the crooked one. Right? Or you say, for instance, all Haidar, they are like this. Right? You are blaming everybody for the mistake of one individual. Right? Instead of you, uh, you whatever he, he is in regard to him, you deal that with him. But do not make it barakallah fikum as you're going to attribute the error or the mistake or the crime to someone that is free from it. Alaikum <laughs> salam. Right? So we cannot say this barakallah fikum. That's why we got to be very careful on how we speak sometimes. Right? You can't say all the dukures are corrupted. You can't say that. Huh? We do. We do. You can't say that. All the dukures, they are corrupted. <laughs> Unless my point is made. Until my point is made. You can't say that. Because Hunaka, there is an individual right there that is free from his crime. And if you attribute it to everyone else, then you are accusing him. You are putting the blame on him. And he is what? He is free from it. So this why these things about Allah, we got to be very careful on how we speak. That's why Alhamdulillah in the religion, it dictates us how to speak. So we will not wrong others in how we speak. For you, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala mentioned in Surah Al-Baqarah, "For many atada alaykum fa'atadu alayhi bi mithli ma atada alaykum." What's before that? What's before that? أيها الذين آمنوا كتب عليكم القصاص هكذا؟ ها؟ I'm thinking. Yes. هكذا. 
So therefore here, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he mentioned, فَمَنِ اَتَدَى عَلَيْكُمْ And whoever transgress against you, فَمَنِ اَتَدَى عَلَيْكُمْ And whoever transgress against you, he say, فَاَتَدُوا عَلَيْهِ بِمِثْلِ مَا اَتَدَى عَلَيْكُمْ Shuf, he say, whoever transgress against you, then the recompense is the like of that which he has transgressed against you. Meaning that individual. He didn't say someone else. Allah Jalla didn't say someone else, but rather he said that individual that has transgressed against you, then you pay back. Be mythly, be mythly to the level or the amount of his transgression. And there is another benefit in this. Shaykh Sa'ad al Uthaymi rahimahullah, he said, in regard to in regard to oppression and taking revenge, he said that the people are divided into three categories. In regard to taking revenge from your oppression, he said the people are divided into three categories. Number one, which is the highest level, it is those who, when they are wronged, they forgive. فَمَنْ عَفَى وَأَصْلَحَ فَأَجُرُهُ عَلَى اللَّهِ Now number one is those who when they are wrong, they are, they are patient. They let it go. Right? They let it go. And this is the highest level. And the second daraja that is mutawasit is those that when they are oppressed, they are wronged, they will pay back. But بِمِثْلِ مَا تَدَى عَلَيْكُمْ but the same amount of what you have been transgressed against. Right? The man he will drive and bump you, right? Just like a small bump, put a scratch on your bumper. You get out the car with your baseball bat and smash all his windows. You have went beyond the limits, Barakallah. Right? The man he honked at you, road rage, and the individual get up, get out the car with the gun. Why you honk at me, huh? Just like a honk. Pop. Why you honk at me? Pull a gun on him. Honk at him back. And khalas. In the hell I'm gonna keep moving. Why you honk at me? Huh? So the people are divided into three in regard to their rights back. Number one is the one that is patient and he forgive. He's patient about it and he forgive. This is better. This is the highest level. And al amruth al qas al qismu thani wa huwa al mutawassir. It is the, the the middle one. It is the one that will just take or get back what he was taking, meaning the rights that he was being, how he was oppressed, he will do the same thing to the individual. The person, curse at your father or your mother, you can't take it, you gotta curse back. Don't curse back at him and curse back his father, his mother, his grandfather, the whole tribe. You, will, you won't be doing no justice. You won't be doing no justice. And you all remember about the three, the hadith of the Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam. When he was talking about the description of the, of the, ahsanta, the hypocrites, that when they argue, they will, they go beyond the limits. Wa ida khasama fajara, they go beyond the limits. When they argue, they dispute, they go beyond the limits. But rather, barakallahu fiqum, the individual wronged you. If you can't let it go. You only can do be mithli ma'tada alaykum. Just the same level amount of the oppression that he has oppressed to you. Thalithan, number three, is that, that go, those who go beyond the limits, they will go and do more than they were being done. 
those who go and do more than they were being done. Right? Man khasama idha khasama fajara. Those who go and they do beyond that which they have been, they have been, they have been transgressed against. So these are the three levels as Shah Salih al Uthaymi rahimahullah mentioned. That in regard to the person being wrong, taking his rights, that these are the three ones. Of course, al afdal is that if the person he forget, he forgives and he be patient and forgives. If he can resort to that, he go to the second level, which is to do what? To take just that which was his rights. Not to go beyond. Not to go beyond the limits. But rather to just take, or just barakallah, if he can retaliate in accordance to how much he has been wronged. And thalithan, for, thirdly, those who are going beyond the limits. Allah like mentioned the individual, he bumped, right, your, your, what you call it, your bumper, and you want to get out with the baseball bat and smash all his windows. Now who's wrong now? You. Huh? Yeah, you. <laughs> so the Shaykh Hafizahullah, he say, Falhasil, in conclusion, the point to be remembered in here is anna hadhi qa'idatun azima that this is a great principle in this religion this is a great principle in this religion now yusuf so like if the individual is bit by an ant and they kill the ant have they um, exceeded I'm just asking I mean you answer your question <laughs> you feel guilty about something Now I will tell you, bite the ant. I will, I will tell you, go bite, bite, bite the ant. Huh? Khalas. Just bite it. Don't kill it. For you. This, this is for you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Because the harm that they can bring the harm that they can bring. But we ain't talking about now, you're going to go to the jungle and start chasing the ants and stuff like this. That's in your, pra in your house. Of course, I mean, let two ants be in your house. Or let two roaches just, by the time you know, you, gotta, you have like a whole army of roaches. Now, is it, is, it, is it like a harm or is it a benefit? Repel the harm. Repel the harm. So this is not wrong. And those who... Who catch themselves in this in this fault righteousness? Oh, why are you killing the ant? Right, listen, if it is a harm, you have you can kill it. If it is a harm, you can kill it. Remember, the Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam he say in Medina, and this is barakallah fi kuwa zulma mashi khas lil Medina. If you see a black snake in Medina, warn him three days. Fourth day, kill it. Right? Why? Because that it is a harm that it could bring. It is a harm that it could bring. Naam, Abba Asma. What about a landlord who doesn't honor his contract? He doesn't prepare things that he's supposed to. Certain laws of the land, they say that you can sue him. Inshallah that, subhanAllah, today, Allah Akbar, ask Shaykh uh, Shay Al-Utaybi about a question. He say, I don't have the answer. Let me go research. So for this, I will ask him, inshallah, I don't have this answer. I'm going to ask him, inshallah. Allah Akbar. We ask him today. Allah Akbar. Ask him about the idhar. Is it, is it a customary action of the Arabs? Or is it part of the religion? He say, at this point, I don't have the answer. Let me go research. Huh? The izar, that what you're wearing right now. He say, huh? Shia Utaibi. Shia Utaibi. Today in our class that we had with him.
after the